Goodbye. Flash. So good morning everyone, welcome back to an epic little video. Back out again with Dean today, and Dean's bringing a good mate of his down as well, so looking forward to meeting him and just chilling out by the fire. The theme for today is we're looking at trying to do a raised bushcraft bed, so I'm really looking forward to that, never tried this before. So we've got, we've just been off camera, cutting a load of uh, dead wood so that we can use them for the, for the bed frames. But yeah, there are potentially signs of uh, rain this afternoon towards the evening and potential thunderstorms so hopefully we do catch the thunderstorms which would be epic but other than that we're just gonna get camp set up dean's in a uh, new tent i believe it is he's got today so he's gonna trial that out dean's friend when he comes later on today he's in a hammock and like i said i'll be in a bushcraft raised bed so it's a bit of a little project for me and dean to do during the day because once dean set up his tent that's him done so we thought we'll get that done today, uh, get a trial and try and you know bring some good content for you guys as well. So yeah, what we're going to do now is I'm going to drag a load of the uh, beams that we've got for the frames, put them out, set them up and get them ready. So we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. Right, so the plan is to build two tripods, uh, one either side next, once they're done, and then we'll start looking at how we're going to start implementing, putting the, uh, the seating area a bit for it. Beastie. It's one done, one to go. Right, so built the two tripods, got them sorted. I've uh, built the stretcher bed, I've got that out. But for whatever reason, I don't know whether it's because the stretcher bed's too narrow and it needs to be a bit more wider, that it's just not working with the tripods that I've built. So I think what I'm gonna do now for the next 15 minutes or so is off camera, just play around with it, see what I can do. Um, alternatively, if it doesn't work out right, it, it's not the end of the world. What I'll do is I'll use the two tripods that I've built already, turn them into uh, bushcraft chairs, so we've got something to sit on in the evening. Maybe build the stretcher bed, low profile, like I've done before in one of my previous videos. Um, so I'll still have the stretcher bed. But as it stands at the moment, with what I'm trying to build and what I'm trying to accomplish, it's not working at all. Yeah, not, not working in the slightest at the minute. I've spent about 50 minutes or so on it, just trying to work out whether it's because I need to tension the tripods a bit more 
so that there's more stability in it so that the bed will be able to fit in because obviously the bed's quite narrow or it might just be the case that I can't do it with this uh, this design this stretcher bed design because it, it needs to be a bit more wider I'm not too sure so like I say 15-20 minutes or so off camera just playing around with it if it works brilliant I'll uh, turn the camera back on and explain how I've done it and how I've gone around it if it doesn't what I'll do is I'll uh, go on to the old trusty YouTube watch a few videos see what other people have done see if other people have done it um, and yeah come out at a later date and try it again so it just shows that you know you, you might have a plan on what you want to do but there's always a curveball that gets chucked in the way like this one so it's not always smoke and mirrors there are some uh, flaws to some designs so anyways I'll, uh, I'll get cracking with this off camera and uh, I'll bring you back shortly once I've either made up my mind of scrapping this and using them as bushcraft chairs or whatever I do not too sure but yeah bring you back shortly see you soon right so I've got the concept of it right um, I'm still tweaking with uh, moving the poles for the uh, tripod legs I'm just moving them to get that stability of it however I'm hoping that it will hold I've sat about on it a little bit and it's drooped on one side so I'm going to need to uh, do a bit of thatching around that but the concept's there uh, and I've not given up on it just yet so usually my patience level is down here uh, but for today it's actually up here so yeah I've not done too bad to say it's the first time doing it it was just a random idea that Dean thought of he goes ah obviously people have done this before this kind of concept but Dean was just like ah tell you what why don't we do this and I said oh do you know what it doesn't sound too bad um, so yeah so I'll, I'll give it a go I'll give it a little whirl and uh, as long as it holds me for tonight I'm not bothered but I think what I will do is I'll most definitely look back on some YouTube videos of what other people have done see how they've done it see how they've got the tripod legs sturdy because I think that's I think that's the issue I don't think it's the bed I don't think it's anything to do with that I think it's just the tripod um, I don't know whether it's because I've thatched it like an idiot I, don't, I really don't know I'm not sure so yeah but all in all, we've, we've got it up to a certain standard. Do a bit of tying on some of the corners to give that stability a bit more. Sit on it, lure about on it, wiggle about. If it works, brilliant. If not, I'll take it off. And uh, like I said earlier, I'll just use the tripod legs to build a bushcraft chair. So I'll crack on now with it. Right, well as you can see behind me, we've got it all sorted now. Um, I've had to put some improvements under here, just for more support, and on the back here as well, uh, just to support the bed a bit more, uh, due to my uh, frame, it's still quite loose. Other than that, I'm trying to pull the tarp out. Um, I've got the bush chair, 
that's all done as well did that off camera just real quick while it was raining so yeah just going to finish this off once that's sorted dig out the fire pit and we'll be good to go for tonight so looking forward to some pizza for tonight as well can't wait for that absolutely starving again um, it's just rained a second ago as well which is brilliant because it's just cleared all the midges so yeah finish the rest of this tarp off I'll see you shortly and there we have it the 4 nil 3 by 3 tarp all set up got a nice hammock set up there as well with a military bashe over the top if we come across we've got Dean's tent that he's trialling out to me, to you And it's like it's like the ones that you do less for. That's what I mean, you can spend ages on Cam though, cap cut. Editing one like for half an hour to think this is banging. Yeah. So you put it on and gets like two thousand views and you put one just explaining what you're doing. Keep looking, mate. And it's like goes mad. Shin film. <laughs> <laughs> I went that whole time mate, I went stop, I got a witch for bollocks and I was like, and then it, we kept that in there, that we? It, it, yeah. we just laughed mate for about half an hour didn't we, Cut non-stop. Well, here comes the rain and I think this is the uh, thunderstorm that was meant to be due. Uh, absolutely smashing it down now. Dean's just on the far side setting up the, the pizza, uh, well the pizza oven, uh, but yeah. The wind's come in, and I'm actually hoping that we do have a bit of thunder, which would be pretty cool to document. But fire's going, fire's looking nice, camp's all set up. We are cushy for the night, regardless of what happens. But hopefully, we'll get the uh, the pizza oven going properly this time round. And uh, fingers crossed, we'll have some decent pizza for tonight. But as you can hear, the rain's proper coming in now. <laughs> Love it. This is what it's all about. Buzzing. Look at that, pizza ready. Time to get that warmed up in the oven. Yeah, that nice, mate. Oh, mate, they look so good. Oh, mate. What's it like? Mm. Is it good? <laughs> Look at all that, get the cheese! <laughs> Got the cheese all fucking dripping mate, yummy! Slow that bad boy. Go on big bars, get it in. Do it oh oh, oh mate, go on mate, <laughs> get that cheese pull. Ready? Oh, oh mate! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's dirty that is mate! <laughs> Right, well, absolutely smashed the pizza this time round. Dean is just down at the bottom, sorting these out. I thought I'd just come up and uh, share some of it with you guys before it gets cold. Absolutely smashed it in the park this time round. Absolutely mega. Class bit of scram.
that pineapple as well. Wow. Let me know if you like pineapple on your pizza. Because this one smacks. I'll bring it close enough. Just so you can enjoy the experience. Look at that. Tell you what. For all you pineapple lovers out there on the pizza. That one was for you. Class. Epic bit of grub. I'm going to smash the rest of this. And I'll uh, bring you back shortly. But if you've been watching so far, thanks ever so much. It's been an absolute epic journey today. From building that shelter from making the pizza so buzzing thanks ever so much it's down the hatchet what's this a crumpy jack scrumpy jack yeah it's good boy That. It's nice, isn't it? Hey! Did you see you last time? Toffee apple one? Fuck me, it'll rain. Yeah, mate. Sickle it. No, no it's nice, it's lovely. That's me and Dean up. We slept absolutely mega. Oh, it's your first night in the uh, in the tent, mate. <laughs> that said that. How oh, were it? Class. Would you do it more often, or? Yeah, but I think I would actually. There's a lot more space than what I thought there was. Yeah. Yeah, good man. Yeah, other than that, we've still got an ember on the fire, so I think we're gonna get a brew on, get sorted. We need to try and dry this uh, canvas tarp out as well, because it looks like it's been raining. Yeah, it looks like it, mate, because either it's from last uh, from last night or it's been through the night, but it looks quite fresh. So. But yeah, bushcraft bed, that was a huge success, even though it was a pain in the ass to do. Uh, but I think I might do it again at some point, and just have a play around with the tripod legs. I think that was the only thing that let it down. But other than that, we're going to just uh, get a brew on and we'll uh, catch you soon. Well, it's nice of Dino to actually uh, get out of his pit and do something. He's got the fire going. It's the first for everything, isn't it, I suppose? Uh, it's nice for him to get the fire on.
Right, well, we're all packed away. Just going to load the uh, the van up, take a little walk out of the uh, wood block, and have a look at the the views. It's been um, been truly a good good camp, to be honest. Just trying to get this up. There we are. Weather stayed all right. We had a bit of rain, uh, no thunder, which was a bit gutting. The bed worked out well as well, which I'm pretty happy for. But yeah, just going to get out into the uh, to the open. Have a look at some of the views outside and we'll probably end the video there. So if you've been watching till the end, thanks ever so much and uh, I'll probably see you on the next one.